I've used copywriting to make a stripper fall in love with me, get free protein powder from VPA, get signed to the biggest dance music label in the world as an unknown artist, book myself to play numerous shows in my hometown and overseas, to sell my old car for 40% over market price because of the description I wrote in Gumtree. I've even used copywriting to convince the police in one single email to drop charges against me and cancel my court appearance. Last week, I posted the first part of a brand new seven part series on how to go from zero to $10,000 a month as a freelance copywriter. Today was supposed to be part two. However, I realized I may have jumped the gun just a little bit and overestimated the general public's knowledge of copywriting because the average person still thinks that copywriting means legal protection and that little C symbol. So before we take a step forward and do part two, we are gonna need to take a step back and do a part zero. A complete copywriting for dummies crash course covering what is copywriting and what does a copywriter do exactly? If you're already a copywriter, go ahead and just skip this one because for the purposes of this video, I'm gonna assume you're an alien who just landed on earth and has no idea on the difference between copywriting and sub subscribing. So let's talk about what copywriting is and what it's not. Firstly, no, copywriting has nothing to do with legal protection or that little C symbol. The people who deal with that are copyright lawyers and trademark attorneys. That is not what we're doing here. Copywriting, my friend, is the art of wielding words like a Jedi master. It's about crafting persuasive and magnetic, drool-worthy content that makes people go, I need this in my life. Oh, okay. As a copywriter, you transport people into worlds where their dreams come true, their problems disappear, and their wallets mysteriously open. You use your armory of words to craft persuasive, captivating content that grabs attention, stirs emotions, and convinces readers to take action. Copywriting is like a secret language that can open doors, build empires, and make your bank account very happy. Essentially, copywriting is writing words that convinces someone to take an action, whether that be clicking a link, swiping up, entering their email, or buying something. Imagine that you have something that you wanna sell, whether that's a water bottle or a house. How do you communicate that value to another human being, exactly what you offer so that they understand the value and they wanna buy it? Well, on a one-on-one -on -one basis, that is the art of sales. But what about one to many? How do you do this with thousands or millions of people at a time and communicate that value to an entire marketplace of strangers that you've never even met? Well, that my friend is the dark art of copywriting. You can think of copywriting as selling one to many instead of selling one to one. Because in regular sales, you can listen to the person, present the product in a way that suits their particular needs, you can overcome their objections, and you can close the sale. Whereas if you're writing a TV commercial that's gonna be seen by millions of people, obviously you can't change the ad in real time to be personalized to each person. That would be pretty fucking cool. You have to know in advance, this is exactly what this audience wants. This is what they're struggling with. These are the objections they're likely to have. And this is the best way to present the offer so that the most amount of people are likely to pull out their card and buy. But what kind of wizard could possibly know all of this? Does every Fortune 500 company have an all powerful genie locked in their basement like Aladdin? Well, as it turns out, they have something even better, a copywriter. And this is the job of a copywriter to figure out what people really want, why they really want it, and then write words that sell it, known as sales copy, hence copy writer. And if you really must know, the word copy comes from the Latin word copia, which means abundance of writing. Useless facts aside, this is why good copywriters are in extremely high demand and always will be. And in fact, I often say that copywriters make the world go round because without them, no sales are made and no lives are changed. Thank you. Think about everything you have ever bought in your entire life. There was a copywriter who came up with the offer, the hook, the angle, and ultimately made you want to buy it. Copywriters are the rainmakers for businesses. They are the lifeblood of every business. They bring in customers and sales, and they can even take businesses from the verge of bankruptcy to the top of their industry. It is a skill that took me from broke warehouse worker and $78,000 in student debt to earning $17,000 a month freelancing when I was 21. And it's also the same skill that allowed me to build a seven figure business by the age of 23. So what exactly does this copy thing look like? Well, it's everything. Everything the light touches is copy. It's in the air you breathe, the water you drink, the food you eat. It is all around us. Even now in this very room, you can see it when you look out your window or when you turn on your television. 
You've been seeing copy since the day you were born. Every magazine, newspaper, billboard, or TV commercial you've ever seen, it is all copy. Tell me, have you ever gone to download something for free and had to enter your email in and then you start getting those marketing emails selling you stuff every day? Yeah, they suck and they're super annoying because it's bad copy. Those emails were likely written by some random marketing intern and not by a professional copywriter. When done right, those emails can actually be really valuable and enjoyable to read and can make thousands of dollars each. I personally make around 30K a month from my email list and it's not even that big, it's around 8,000 people. But I have friends in the space who make millions of dollars every year from their email lists because they're really good copywriters or they have really good copywriters writing for them. What about those ugly sales pages with those big red headlines? How I lost 15 pounds in 15 days using the purple cucumber method without dieting, exercise, or giving up my favorite foods. And the long 7,000 word sales page with 100 call to actions and buy now buttons and you get $10,000 of value for only $97 today only. Surely those are just for shady fly by night scammers, right? They can't possibly be for legit businesses and surely no one actually buys anything from those pages, right? Well, yes, they do. In fact, the info product niche is estimated to be around $243 billion as of 2023. That's a lot of eBooks and online courses. So yes, these ugly sales pages and scammy looking VSLs can make a crap ton of money. And I don't just mean enough to pay your bills either. In fact, one of my CMB rock stars, Kenneth, made one of his clients over $40 million with just four 10 minute VSLs that he wrote. I assure you, he was paid very handsomely for those. And had he asked for just a 5% commission, he could have retired in his early 20s. So Kenneth, next time, learn your lesson, right? I guarantee at some point in your life, you've landed on a sales page or a sales video and said, fuck that, not interested, I'm skipping this. And then of course, next minute, you end up reading or watching the entire thing. That ability to suck you in and keep you glued to the screen until you find your hand mysteriously reaching for your wallet, thinking, holy shit, I really need this. That skill is copywriting. And let me tell you what an amazing skill to possess. And it's not just the obvious stuff like Facebook ads, YouTube ads, sales pages, video sales letters, landing pages, funnels, and checkout pages. Good copy is like air, it's invisible. Instagram captions, scripts for a TikTok video or ad, product descriptions on a website, the menu at your local hibachi restaurant, Nike's branding slogan, just do it. Just It's all copy. Your opening message on Tinder, all right, your Riz game. Riz is just copy. This YouTube video is all copy. Everything is copy. In fact, aside from making over two and a half million dollars online in the last five years, copywriting has helped me to get free protein powder from VPA by charming the pants off the customer support rep. Thanks, Rachel. Get signed to the biggest dance music label in the world as an unknown artist and sign four tracks with them. Book myself to play numerous shows in my hometown and overseas, including the Ultra Europe boat party and beach fill stages. Okay, technically Ultra was through networking, but I never would have been able to meet or afford my manager if it weren't for copy allowing me to quit my job and pursue my music career. So, I've used copywriting to sell my old car for 40% over market price because of the description I wrote in Gumtree. Think about that. I spent an extra 10 minutes writing the description and came away with an extra three and a half grand for my car than it should have been worth because of the words I wrote in the description. If you're wondering what I wrote, by the way, all I simply said at the beginning was literally just like, hey, full disclaimer, I have a tiny dent in my car above the rear left wheel. It's a really small, you probably won't even notice it, but that's the only thing wrong with the car. That's just the way I like to do business with complete honesty, integrity, and transparency. Other than that, the car's in perfect working condition. It's a custom burnt orange color with custom racing wheels, blah, 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 blah. And then you go into all the benefits, right? But just leading with that damaging emission built a lot of trust and actually enabled me to sell my car really quickly and for much higher than I should have been able to. Pro tip in case you ever want to sell your car. But right there, as you've seen, you don't even need to be a copywriter to make money with copywriting. I've used copywriting to make a stripper fall in love with me. I've even used copywriting to convince the police in one single email to drop charges against me and cancel my court appearance. I was innocent to be fair, so that does help. But true story, I was out for a friend's birthday. Of course we had a booth, you know, what's up? Bottles are flowing, game is flowing. I had a honey to my left, a honey to my right. All was well in the world until at some point in the night, someone stole my wallet, used it to store their baggie, 
if you know what I'm saying. And then the dickhead lost it. And the next day, of course, the cops find my wallet with a bag of drugs in it. They call me into the station. They give me a summons to go to court. I go to court. I adjourn the case. I turn to my lawyer and I said, fuck this. We're not coming back. Watch this. I emailed the police department and I say, hey, this is bullshit. I'm innocent. Here are four reasons you should drop this charge. They email me back two weeks later. All charges dropped, case dismissed. I don't know if you're familiar with the legal system, but that doesn't happen. You don't just email Queensland police and tell them to politely fuck off and drop the case. And they go, ha ha ha, okay. I literally transcended the legal system with copy. You wanna talk playing life on God mode? That is playing life on God mode. Can you see now why I'm saying that copywriting is the most powerful skill that I think anyone could possibly learn? Copy is how you persuade other people to do what you want. It's how you persuade them to do what's best for them. How to get a raise at work. How to get that girl to come home with you. How to get your kids to eat their damn vegetables. Except coriander, don't be eating that shit. So with great copy comes great power and great responsibility. In the wrong hands, this skill can absolutely be used to manipulate people, scam people out of thousands of dollars and commit all kinds of heinous crimes. But in the right hands, it is an immense force for good and you can completely change or even save people's lives. I have friends in the coaching space who have suicide notes on their desks. And I mean suicide notes written after people decided not to take their own lives. They were fat, broke, depressed, they signed up with a personal trainer, they started to get in shape, watched their body grow and transform and their mental health started to improve. And just like that, because of the work of a copywriter who wrote the words selling that weight loss program, there is now a child out there who is growing up with a father instead of as an orphan. This type of stuff happens every single day. Copywriters are the fucking unsung heroes of humanity. We are changing the world one word at a time and I truly believe it is one of the most noble professions anyone could possibly have. Now, let's talk about some commonly asked questions that you've probably been wondering so we can dispel some of these copywriting myths once and for all. First off, do you need to be a good writer to be a good copywriter? Very common question. It definitely helps, but no, it is not essential. Copywriting isn't like writing university essays or long novels. In fact, it's the complete opposite. The best copy is actually often written at a fifth or sixth reading grade level. Kind of like how I'm talking right now. It's very conversational, very easy to understand. That is good copy. If long-winded flowery essays work the best, then all college professors and novelists would be millionaires, but most of them are dirt broke. So forget everything you learned in school, Copywriting is a completely different type of writing. Do you need a degree? Definitely not. Okay, despite copywriters being some of the highest paid people in the world, most people don't even know this profession exists. It's not offered as a subject in school. It's definitely not taught at universities. So it's no surprise that most people haven't even considered this as a career, despite being able to earn more than a lawyer or doctor without sacrificing four to nine years of your life at a university. So then can anyone become a copywriter? Copywriting is an art form. It's a dance between logic and creativity. So if you are fluent at any language, preferably English, have a basic understanding of sales and human psychology, know a few fundamental frameworks and techniques and have a, I can't move this finger, but you get the idea. <laughs> Come on. Fucking hell, why is this so difficult? This is really hard. Can you guys do this? Let me know in the comments if you can actually move this finger <laughs> without the pinky. Dude, that's really fucking hard. Well, I've never tried this before. And have a touch of creativity, then yes, with practice and dedication, even a hamster can become a copywriter. You can do it, Luna. Dream big. Dream big, sweetie. Okay, you can sit there now. So then, how much do copywriters earn? The average salary is typically around 60K US dollars a year if you worked for a company, but working as a freelancer, as you'll discover, you can earn much more. 10K a month, 20K a month, even 30K a month or higher. I have over 56 students who are currently making a six-figure income as freelance copywriters. And I even know people who make over a million dollars a year freelancing because they are really good and therefore their rates are very high. You serious right now? I'm trying to film a video. It's fucking licking your vagina while I'm trying to film a video. Like that's fucking, that's appropriate? You think that's appropriate? We're gonna have words about this later. You think I didn't see that? You think 6,000 people didn't see that just then? Literally, this is live right now. We're like live in front of like the whole world. Pretty sure like Obama doesn't even get this many views. What does this have, like 46 views already? Despicable. You should be ashamed. This dog has no shame. But how can someone with no degree or no formal training possibly earn more than a brain surgeon who spent nine years of his life at medical school? Well, because just like a brain surgeon, copywriters are solving a very high level problem. 
Copywriters are the rainmakers for businesses. They bring in leads and customers and sales. Without them, there would be no business. So do you think a business owner making millions of dollars a year is happy to pay someone 2K, 3K, or even 5K a month if they're bringing in hundreds of thousands of dollars a year in sales? Probably. Understand that business is not like a regular job. Okay, you aren't paid according to the hours you work, you're paid according to the value you provide and the results that you bring. So if you wrote a sales page that brought in 100 grand for the client, they don't give a shit if it took you four hours or 400 hours. They only care about the end result. This is why you see me and so many of my students making bank, yet we're always traveling and doing cool shit. People watch our stories like, doesn't this fucker have a job? See, it's our skills that enable us to charge super high rates because we make our clients much more than what they pay us. So we don't need to work 60 hours a week to make 200K a year like a lawyer, for example. Which is why copywriting is one of the best careers or even side hustles you could possibly start in 2023, 2024 and beyond. You can take on as many or as few clients as you like. You're in full control of your income, your schedule. You can work from anywhere so long as you have a laptop and an internet connection. You never need to show your face or talk to anyone. You just sit behind your laptop typing words for a few hours a day and you print cash. It is an introvert's dream and it is the exact skill that has enabled me to quit my minimum wage warehouse job and make over two and a half million dollars in the last five years as my side hustle while I've pursued a full-time career in dance music. Maybe that sounds like bullshit, but I am living, breathing proof and I've helped hundreds of people from over 30 countries quit their jobs and make a full-time income as a copywriter. 56, like I said, have hit six figures and we've even had three people hit seven figures so far and actually surpassed me. All of them started from absolutely zero at one point or another. And if you have a laptop and an internet connection, there is literally no reason that you can't do the same. So if you want more info, I recommend checking out the free 50 minute training, which is linked below. That'll walk you through the fastest way to make an extra thousand dollars a week on the side, even as a complete beginner. And the last commonly asked question, where can I learn copywriting? How do I get into it? How can I get started? Do I need to buy books and courses? How do I get paying clients? All these questions and more answered in the next part of my seven, well, now eight, I guess, part zero to 10K a month copywriting training for free right here on my YouTube. And you can watch the next one right here or right here. I don't know, dude, my fucking, my editor will put it somewhere. Click the link to watch the next video in the series to learn how to get started as a copywriter, learn the skill, and then actually get paid, which is probably the reason you're here. So if you found this useful, feel free to mercilessly destroy the living shit out of the subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next one right now. Are you seriously sleeping? I'm sorry if I'm boring you here. I'm trying to learn how to make money online, you're just fucking sleeping. Like, just chill in Paris, it's so boring. No sleeping on my watch. You can sleep when it's bedtime. It's actually bedtime, it's midnight. I believe in a miracle. Do I believe in a miracle? No, no shit, we're filming. <laughs> All right. Say goodnight, Luna. Camera's here. You're so cute.